shine in my soul today. More glory as than bright. There's infinity with this cup. Oh, Jesus is my light. Oh, the sun shine. Bless the sun shine. When the peaceful happy moments roll. When Jesus shows his smiling face. There is sunshine in the soul. There is gladness in my soul today. Ah, la, 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 la. Ah, ah. Oh, I forgot the rest of it, but that's okay. I love you. I just wanted to show you the, some of the fruit. That tree, tree was a tangerine tree, but they sure look big. Here's a little tiny baby. Brand new starting. Oh, look at it. Oh, those are those little things I fertilize. Huh. This is our passion fruit. Okay. And this is more. Some kind of bug that keeps messing up. But I figure the plant knows how much weight. I'm not going to worry about it. it survives. It's meant to survive. If it didn't, you pluck them off, you trim it back, and then the plant doesn't have to work so hard. Ah, one of them survived. There's plenty. Mmm, yum. And then I look in here to see what's going on, to see if there's some kind of bug. Usually it's the ants, the black ants and spider mites. Aha, do you see the spider? Did you see it? It just went floating right back up. Get out of there. There, see him? See him? <laughs> Look at him. I wonder if they bite people. See it? It's climbing up. See it? I wonder. I probably should spray it with uh, alcohol. Oh no. Alcohol's a little bit too much. Uh, I'll think about it. My daughter's covered up to work on uh, oh there's one she's got on my hand it's the spider knot. there it is oh my gosh look at it it's like lady we know who you are you better leave us alone <laughs> okay there's a whole whole bunch of it i had tried for years to grow this and we have it going along the fence and we had to make a a big tunnel in here that uh, like we have to go down to the ocean and do an ocean one for you folks but I'm waiting for someone to pick up some food I cooked um, I washed the rice off and then forgot to put water back on top of the rice and it came out kind of weird but I might make another pan and this is what it ended up being like a little fairy garden. I was going to make fairy gardens and sell them. That would be fun. I then the apple tree had an apple that fell off. I don't know how come it's so short. It used to be so tall. Maybe it's... Oh, there it is. It's bending over. There. Oh, we had some ferocious winds. Look at my yard. It's all blown all over. I got a new thing I made yesterday. You gotta see this. It's amazing. Hi, Mama. Hello, little baby chicks. Can we take a picture of you? Hi, little Mama. See that little purple thing? I bought all those plants and I had them by the front door, but they're getting too much sunshine. Latanya, sage, two types of mint. There's um, thyme, which I usually can't grow, and a lavender started. And then I threw a bunch of basil seeds in there. And I put the white stuff, the borax, around the edges. Hopefully the ants won't climb in it. But because this is all my turmeric. Here's the turmeric flower. Isn't it dainty and pretty? I wonder if I could eat it. I think I might try one leaf to see what it tastes like. I 
I like eating flowers. They're scrunchy. They're like, I wonder if I'll die. <laughs> I don't think so. You can eat orchids. Um, I love eating this one jade plant. Flower. Oh, the best narsanthiums are peppery. So, this is this vine. I don't know where the sweet potato is, but... What is that plant? Huh, it looks like a citrus. Well, I harvested all my um, sargum. It came up from the bird seed. And I learned about it. And then, that's sweet potato. And that's ginger. I moved the ginger from over there to there. Oh, by the way, I gotta see my my bay tree is doing very well, isn't it? It's doing very well. This one over here is not. And there's some kind of funky stuff. I think it's a oh some kind of leech. Uh I come out here with some dish soap and wash. Whoa. Hey, that might work. That spray. Dawn dish soap. I weeded a place here so the chickens would dig there instead of digging up all my other stuff. This flower attracts a mildew. And then I have these two beautiful basil plants. I gotta trim it back. So the mildew and the stuff that would normally kill the basil is called preferred planting. And um yeah, we'll just throw some flowers over there. And I need some more soil. I buy Kellogg's potting soil because it doesn't have as large pieces of wood. But it has worm casings in it. So there's lots of worms in my... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any seeds worth using on that one. But it's so pretty. It's a... Uh, I forget the name of this flower. Here's another bay plant right here. They came from the other ones. Now see the Latanya? It, it's a medicine plant, a wine medicine plant. And there's my, my uh, peanuts. I have to put more soil underneath it. And there's what becomes a kukui nut tree. I painted my house blue. Avoid do, and this is shampoo. Hello, baby. Hello. <laughs> one of them must have got a worm, and the other one's chasing them because they want to take it away. <laughs> I want to see if I can find the brand new babies. There's two sets of four, and two sets of over ten, and. A mother hen somewhere. Oh, hi, there she is. She's she's taking a nap with her babies. It's okay, Mama. It's okay, Mama. It's okay. You need to rest. I'm just showing everybody your babies. This is an oil painting I'm working on. Whoa, that went blurred. Sometimes when I move it fast like that, it does that. We have never seen so many bird of paradise on our plant at one time. I was gonna try and eat it too, but I think I better look it up. One of them fell off. Huh. Some beach house rules. Shoes are optional. Soak up the sun, build sand castles, rest, relax, renew, take long walks, get your feet wet, enjoy the fresh air, smile, giggle, laugh. Bless your hearts. This is one of my oil paintings I do on coconuts. Looks like somebody decided to do something on it. I need to touch them up. I have about 12 of them. Okay. Uh, I fell in March and I'm just trying to get over it and uh, get some help to get over it and all that good stuff. It's okay, Mama. There's the other babies over there. I don't think I pictures of you. There they are. Do you see them? right there. I'll show you the mama in the back that's on top of the egg. Okay, this is shampoo. 
This is called a puni. And you grab hold of it. There it is. That is shampoo. Grosses my daughter out. <laughs> Normally you remove all that stuff off on the outside, but boy, it sure makes my hair feel soft. Yeah, I just put it on top of my hair. So I gotta clean this. Ow! Something bit me. Not the plant. It's a I wonder if I could use the leaves on it. There's a bunch more inside of there. Um, that is supposed to be a certain kind of plant that you could cook, but it's morong. It's supposed to be moronga, but it's um, it ended up being. Look at the tree. And then I tried to cut it down before we had the hurricane, and then it started growing out of where I cut it. Maybe if it gets good enough, I'll just leave it there. But the leaves are very nutritional. Rosemary is super good for you. Every time I put soil around them, they just dig it all up and eat it. So I'm gonna build a little rock wall around it, fill it in with the soil, and then put a decorative pretty rock on it. That should, she's still just awesome though, compared to, that's the whole plant right there. Well, um, I hope to put in some more of those sacks, and I'm going to grow sprouts. I'll show you, and microgreens. Well, I gotta have some more out for this one. It, it'll just, most people just pick them and let it drain out. I don't really care. Okay, I might go for a little walk. You wanna go for a walk with me? Okay, we're gonna go for a walk. We came in again. The there they are, hello mama. Hey. You don't take those babies outside, okay? They'll get ran over. <laughs> She's trying to meander off. She, she tried to take her, she did take her babies out the other day. And then the, last night she climbed up in the starfruit tree and left the baby, the four of them down below. And I got two of them jumped up and got up in there, but there was two left down here all night. They didn't get eaten, which is good. I like to have a, they have to go yellow before you eat them, but you can eat them. I, I eat green fruit too, but they taste much better. If they're a little bit on the yellow side. Yeah, that one's a good one. I'll eat that. You bust it open. Usually, I probably have to cut it with a knife. I think it needs water. I'll have to stick the water over there. They're going to come up here and get some water because she gets to take care of a, a million dollar home that's eight bedrooms. People live in Idaho. This is a Hawaiian homestead. These are all Hawaiians. I don't know what happened. Something just happened. Oh, okay, there we go. Um, we drive down two and a half miles. See the ocean? You can kind of see it right there. And so you have to be 50% Hawaiian and have another person live with you that is 50% Hawaiian in order to inherit the houses. These homes have been here about 50 years. 
and the people in Lahaina had actually been in their homes over a hundred years and they were due to each get $150,000 um, they'll start getting it was a big mess that happened right now they're only going to give everybody $200,000 that were involved in that and that's not enough to rebuild not they have to pay for everything has to be shipped from island come to Honolulu and then they have to be shipped out to the other island um, There's a Noah's Ark. Oh. So what I would do with this, they go really fast down here. They can land an airplane on this road. If there's a tsunami and it wipes out the coast, people They'll come up here. So I use my teeth. You hear that? See? I broke it open with my teeth. There's the fruit inside.